now we're being joined by Representative Ed Henry, who basically led the impeachment charge a year ago. What are you hearing now, Representative? That the governor has, in fact, agreed to resign from office and, and basically make a deal with the prosecution at, at some level to uh, have his charges reduced to a misdemeanor. What do you make all of all of this now a year later after you started this process, basically? It's a long time coming. Uh, you know, a year ago, we saw the writing on the wall. We knew that, that there was corruption, that there were problems in, in, involved in his administration and that compromised his ability to lead the state. And uh, unfortunately, it took this long. Sometimes the wheels of governments turn slowly but surely. And we're, we're, we're at the, the end of the road. And, and I'm looking forward to a new beginning with Governor Ivey. Is there anything that you can tell us right now about the governor and possible charges? I don't know. We're getting reports that, that he is uh, actually not in the Capitol right now, that he is uh, at the, the courthouse being, being booked in on, on charges. And so I don't know exactly. That, you know, the first word we had was at 5 o'clock today there would be a resignation. Um, I don't, I don't know what to tell you other than that's, that's kind of the timeline we're looking at. And we were hearing the possibilities of a plea deal. What would that mean? What would that look like? I don't really know. You know it's a criminal case that's going on. And so the, I would imagine his attorneys and the prosecution sat down and worked out a deal that, that maybe keeps him out of jail but removes him from office and uh, basically puts him in a, a position of uh, um, you know, probation, if you will, that type of thing. Uh, I, I know that one of the things he was really working for was to maintain uh, uh, the ability to practice medicine, and, and so you know, we'll see. With all of this happening today, uh, last question, what is your message to the people of Alabama? Uh, just, we, we've turned the corner. Uh, we had lost the trust of the people of Alabama. And, and it's up to the legislature and the, the, the public officials that are still in office to try and do our best to restore that. Hopefully they've seen that, that there are a few of us down here that are willing to put our, our political capital on the line and, and you know, hold corruption accountable. And, and that's, there are a few of us here. And, and so hopefully the people of Alabama will see that and we'll move forward in a, in a brand new, better direction. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks.